In this video, Kevin and I are going to go over our June likes and dislikes. The things that we loved, the things that we hated. And um, sad to say, there were some things that we hated. At the end, towards the end of the video, Kevin is even going to give you a lunchtime review that he hated. Uh, so just know that. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to talk about um, is this private selection. Uh, this was the double chocolate muffin cup. And I wrote on here, it was very dry, old, it tasted like old potting soil. And it really did. It, um, it, it reminded like the kind me. kind of the little white uh, balls on it. Yes. <laughs> it, and it tasted like that's what yeah. I was eating. Yeah. I don't know why it was so bad. There was no reason for it to be bad. Um, it was just disgusting and I would never, ever get it again. Uh, so that definitely was What's a is, I don't like most mug, the cup, the Mug cakes. Mug cakes and the muffins especially. I don't like most of them. For, I really hate that. It's had to be bad. Um, I'll talk about this drink. This is the Malta Goya uh, malt beverage and it was very malty. Why don't you write on uh, molasses. molasses? That's right. Um, we gave this to we gave some of these to Andrew mm -hmm. and he said, Wow, those are very strong. <laughs> so did he not like them either? No, he didn't like I don't Because think he liked Andrew them oftentimes he will like things. Sometimes they'll love them that yeah. love them more like ugh. Things that we uh, think are terrible. There was one in particular that he got me to try and it was kind of a malty beverage too. And yeah. he loved sangria. Yeah. That sangria he absolutely loves it and I was like, Oh my yeah, gosh, it this like is nasty horrible. fruit. Um, so anyway, these, we would never drink these. I know people love them and drink them all the time, just not for us. No. And I like malt. I love malt vinegar and stuff like that. No. No. <laughs> uh, this is the 7-Eleven uh, 7, -11 7 Select Biscotti. This was cranberry pistachio. And I wrote on the back, pistachio tasted rotten. It did. It, it tasted foul. It really did. It, it tasted like there was uh, something wrong with it. Yeah, I think uh, we even said, I don't know where they're getting pistachios from, but quit buying them from whoever you're buying them from. Because yes, they were awful. It, it, yeah, it was absolutely terrible. It was, well, and the whole thing, I know it came from California, but it was still like a dry, crumbled mess in the package, where normally, even if you sent them in a box, they wouldn't be like that. Uh, but yeah, the pistachios were just the worst pistachios I've ever had. <laughs> Um, I'll talk about the quest and the quest. This one is the um, the Hero. Hero Bar chocolate peanut butter. Yeah, it seems like I vaguely remember this one. Um, what did I write? Strong on? protein flavor, and it was like stronger than normal, and which is saying a lot for a quest bar. Yes. <laughs> anyway, and I really hated that bar. Yeah, Kevin. I think I was kind of like, I don't really right. like it. Yeah, but I, think, I hated it. Yeah. It was it, the the protein was almost overwhelming yeah. in that bar. It so I would never ever get that again. Uh, these are I said uh, funky cheese. Uh, they oh are, yeah, I remember those. The cheesecakes I had bought these from uh, Big Lots because they look like they would be like a Mr. Kipling knockoff. Yeah. And um, this is the with cheese cream and blueberries, and it did tasted like funky cheese. It yeah. tasted like it had gone off, like it was bad, and the date was still good when we bought them. So there was no reason for them to taste that way. No, I remember them tasted like rotten cheese. These are from Spain, so we just did not care for those. And these are the Eye of the Tiger. Um, Skinny Jimmy Eye of the Tiger, this was the caramel chocolate peanut butter. Um, I don't remember. And those were like. protein bars. Very grainy, like sand, that's right. Um, Those, that was extremely great. Yeah, I mean like literally like eating sand. Um, and the flavors weren't that great either. The peanut butter in there wasn't very good. Right. So yeah, don't buy these. Yeah. Although we've had other the other little Jimmy, or the Skinny Jimmy or the Jimmy brand. Jimmy bar, yeah, uh, that were fine. They were fine. This one just... That one in one. particular was it's yeah. just extremely grainy. Um, so I'm going to talk about these. These are the Alanda Lakes uh, Coco Classics. John sent us like eight of these, mm -hmm. and out of all of them, these were our favorites. This is the caramel and chocolate. Yeah, and this is the raspberry and chocolate. And they were both just phenomenal. Yeah, but you know all the Land of the Lakes um, brand drinks were very creamy, very rich. We liked all except for one, and I didn't put it in this video just because we didn't hate yeah, it. Yeah, we didn't actually hate it. It was the uh, French vanilla. Yeah, the French vanilla, yeah. And he agreed. 
he agreed he didn't that like he didn't either. like it either. Yeah. He said it does have a funky flavor. Yeah. But, yeah. but most of them, you're pretty safe to buy because they're, yes. they're very good products. Yes, they really are. So you just have to pick the flavor that appeals to you. He said that um, uh, the mint one, he said he always has that on Christmas Eve. And I think that's a neat yeah, tradition, neat tradition yeah. that you have uh, yeah. to always have the same thing on Christmas Eve. Yeah, I'm going to talk about one of our favorite products ever anyway. Uh, well, they should sponsor this channel. Uh, <laughs> Bortman, uh, these are the raspberry lemonade wafer bars, the, the cookies. Um, pretty much everything Bortman makes is good. These are actually, we like these so much, we, we actually said these would be like in the top probably three or four. Yes. Yeah, they were that good. Yeah. Um, I think banana, strawberry banana is still our it's number still one. still number one. But this is like two or three underneath that. So it's, yeah, that says a lot. Because we've tried a lot of Wartman and we pretty much like all of them. We need to take a trip to Canada and visit their yeah. factory. If Wartman's watching this, we we'll, want to see your factory. We'll, we'll come see your factory if he just flies up there and <laughs> we'll videotape it and tour and, you know. We do really, truly love Wartman. Yeah, They're very, like very the good. best wafer cookies ever. If you, Yeah, we haven't yeah, had any other wafer cookies that can good. compare to those. Um, so I'm going to show the dollies. Jason sent us dollies from Maryland. But he sent us taffy and popcorn and fudge. I specifically for this video, for a favorites video, want to mention the fudge. Mm, because I good. wrote on the back the chocolate nut and the chocolate peanut butter were our favorite. That's mm. out of the everything from Dolly's that he sent us from Maryland. Those two, everything was good, but those two were like very very yeah. good the fudge was, all that fudge was really good good textures Incredible. good flavors everything yes. um the saltwater taffy he had was also very good but it's just taffy i mean it tastes like all the other saltwater taffies you've ever had in your life you know it's pretty much the i same. think it would be very hard if you were to get saltwater taffy from dolly's and then i know there are other places in maryland in in like like banana flavor from dolly's and banana flavor from someplace else i think it would be very very hard to tell the two apart yeah because it pretty much tastes the same. but fudge fudge oh fudge is very individual yes so the texture and everything and yeah. the flavors and how well the peanut butter comes through yeah. and textures that's, have a lot to do with for fudge too the peanut butter impressed me with this yeah so it, was that very, it was excellent was good okay um i'll do these bake shop cookies this is the bake, bake shop bakery chocolate chip sandwich cookies uh and they were little they were little cookies they were only like this big around these came from meyer right those came from Aldi. Aldi, that's right. Yeah, yeah. We bought one big that's one. That's what it was. And we from had Meyer. it in that video, yeah. and these were better. These were better than, yeah, these were the Aldi cookies. These were just really good, and Ashley loved these things. She ate like 90% of this pie. <laughs> and she said, you got you can't buy you those can't anymore. You can't buy them anymore. <laughs> and yes. We're not allowed to buy these anymore because she will eat them. Yes. Um, they're just excellent cookies. So all these in general has been pretty decent with their cookies. They're kind of hit and miss sometimes, but these, these were- They were like two chocolate chip cookies yeah, with, with uh, a, cream. a really thick layer of white cream in the middle. And then they rolled the edge in uh, well, chocolate. Mini chocolate chips. Yes. And, I mean, how good. can you go wrong, right? Yeah, well, the cream was really good in them, too. These, I love these. These are Vieira wafers. The They're the uh, toffee. Hmm. And they, we bought these at Big Lots. They were only $1.25 at Big Lots. And they were absolutely phenomenal. They're from Portugal. Yeah. And this is one of those things. So Big Lots, you know, just like I showed you these, and they were terrible. They were horrible. But then you can go in Big Lots and you can get things like this that you haven't seen anywhere else that are absolutely delicious for dollars. Yeah, Big Lots, Big Lots, the foods like that are very hit and miss. Yeah, so honestly, I, you know, you just have to either watch this space to see if we review it, um, or if you're curious about something, you can always request it and I'll try do my best to find it. Um, but if not, then just spend the dollar twenty-five yourself because you might hate it, but you can always give it away to a family member. Yeah, and they're not super expensive. No, so uh, but these were absolutely phenomenal. Five out of five all day long. They were wonderful. I would get those again. Do you want to do these together, the Ethels? Oh, yes. Ethels was something I ran across completely by accident at Meyer. Yes. It's in the refrigerated section near the right next to the bakery. It's yes. It's in like a actually it's. Yeah, cooler section. They got a frozen section. Yeah. Um, it's Ethel's Baking Company. I've got the Turtle Dandy. And these are the pecan. Um, they're just, all of it's really 
good. They're like these bars with they're, all this stuff. They're very, very expensive. They are expensive, that. yeah. And you only get like three bars in the but package. They like they, yeah, you didn't get very many. They're made in St. Clair Shores, Michigan www.ethelsbaking.com yeah, and they um, might be a little high in calories too yes <laughs> they were very expensive but they were in the refrigerated section i don't know if they have to stay refrigerated but we kept them refrigerated but the pecan dandies they tasted just like if you've ever had the the roca bars that's what these tasted yeah, like the toffee and kind of flavor yes they were absolutely phenomenal and if i could i would eat these every single day if i yeah, could they're very, That's very how good. Good they were rich buttery yeah and the Absolutely same thing with the, the turtle ones had a really good caramel chocolate uh pecan flavor i mean they were just really really good um so uh let's talk about these so these are the georgie porgies puddings mm -hmm. uh stacy ann had sent us these from the uk um she sent us everything that georgie porgies puddings offers and these were our two favorites out of everything um yeah these were in like little plastic containers that you microwave and they're called sponges yeah so the the other she sent us puddings that were round and you have to remove the outer cloth and those were good but they were mostly a spiced um kind right. of dessert these these sponges were like a spongy cake mm -hmm. and then you add the custard to them and yeah, it just takes it over the top just the memory of it um i love the the, the flavor this was the strawberry jam it had the trickle yes and I thought for sure when we reviewed the trickle and the sticky toffee, I thought the sticky toffee is going to win because I love sticky toffee. No. Trickle, and, it, and it was good. It was but good. But not as good as this. But not as good as that. Yeah. These are very, very sweet. The strawberry in this was uh, very strong. And they were just a perfect dessert. Yeah, so, they were really. And they were super easy to make, too. So. Yes. Yeah, you just stick them in the, pop them in the microwave. And, and they're in their own container. Yeah. So it's not like you had to dirty a plate or anything. So these are the Taylor Grace cookies. These are uh, lemon cookie cakes. And I had the chocolate cherry cookie cakes with cherry frosting. And to look at these, they look like uh, macaroons or something yeah. like that uh, is how they look. But these were, we tried, um, we did, I think, two reviews with uh, four different Taylor Grace cookies. And these were by far the favorite. Yeah. The I other, love anything cherry pretty much. The other ones I wouldn't even get. These I would get all the time. Mm -hmm. Have you seen these recently when we've gone back in Meyer? Because I, mm, I don't no, remember. No, but then again, I, they have so many things at Meyer. It's hard to. They do. They really do. These were in the bakery section at Meyer. Like, like up front on one of those tables. Yeah. If you're looking for things, different things, besides your typical Nabisco or something like that from the cookie aisle, just go to the bakery. Because yeah, they, especially Meyer. Meyer Kroger has a pretty extensive bakery well, section. Well, yeah, they do. Even Walmart has a decent bakery the section. The thing about uh, Meyer. Meyer and Kroger is they get a lot of other brands. Mm -hmm. Walmart is pretty much just has Walmart. Just has Walmart <laughs> brands. So, uh, frankly, I like to have more options. Right. I don't like to, it to be dictated to me. I have to buy this brand. So I like to have other brands on the table too. Yeah. So that's what's good about uh, Meyer and Kroger. Yeah, but these so, are really good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Well, right now Meyer has like uh, strawberry shortcakes and stuff like that. It's dominating like some of yes. the tables. Whereas, right. I'd say they've so I'd say they've taken off some of that kind of stuff to replace with those. Do you want to do uh, some more drinks? No, we've got we've got a bunch of drinks. Well, only get out these these. You've got two of these over there. Yeah, that one and the one you just had in your hand. Oh, twigs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. These are uh, twigs, and uh, we, I we have liked the... all of them. <laughs> <laughs> and we liked all of them. We did like that them That we all. tried. Uh, these are the Farmer's Brew Butterscotch Root Beer and the Rue Berry. And they have just the regular root beer and the Ginseng Cran Cherry. And the favorite one out of the bunch was the Cran Cherry one. This is like uh, made in Wisconsin. Michael sent us these from Wisconsin. No, we like the Rueberry the best, didn't we? Um, out of all of them, my very favorite is the Butterscotch. Yeah, that was the best one, but we were surprised that we liked the Rueberry as much as we did. Yes. And this ginseng. That's was, what I'm saying. Well, all of these are in the favorites. Yeah, they were all really good, but I mean, there were some that we really, really, I really would, liked. This is the one I would get again and again, was yeah. the, the Butterscotch. But yeah, you couldn't go wrong with any of them because they were all excellent. And they're like a dessert. Yeah, they're, oh yeah. 
and a lot of people um, from uh, Wisconsin have commented and said, "I've not, I've not, I live in Wisconsin and have not I've seen never this. Thought, oh, they did. I've never even have seen not them. seen them. So wow. these are a, it's a Northern Wisconsin company, and uh, so I hope if you are in Wisconsin." then you're starting to look around for this brand. Yeah, because they're very good. Yes, it's excellent. Uh, I have another drink to show you. Uh, this one was sent to us from um, Iris. It is the Coco, I put a note on it, Coco Rico. Rico. And this one was a um, like a bubble gum cream soda flavor. Mm -hmm. It was delicious. It was so weird, and so different. That color is also from Iris. And that other one's from Iris. No, no, no. That was from Iris too. So <laughs> I never remember what things. Kevin, that yeah. I have the um, Good O Cola Champagne, and this one is the uh, Country Club um, Refrescos yes. Meringue. Meringue soda, and we both like that. Yeah, Oklahoma. these were good though. I remember this one. Uh, the, mm -hmm. the champagne tasted like a cream soda. Uh, they're they're very very good yeah. drinks. Uh, the Coke the. Uh, uh, coconut one taste it has a coconut flavor but it's light it's not too much coconut so if you don't like coconut it, I, it's weird how it had that bubblegum kind of flavor yeah yeah um, but then the meringue was also excellent she yeah, said he just, said very creamy um, like a cream soda that's what yeah, I thought yeah delicious so uh, then we have um, we were talking about Walmart Bakery. These are market side. These were uh, decadent strawberry cookies. They're strawberry flavored cookies with white chocolate chunks. And they were huge. They were like this big with white chocolate chunks. Mm -hmm. After we bought this, what I discovered about all of their cookies, not just these, they sell these like little brown envelopes. Yeah. And in the envelopes, they have like a clear panel to where you can see what's inside. They sell, like if you don't want to buy a whole, if you're a single person or if you just want to have one treat for that night and you don't want it any other time, you can buy one or two of these cookies in these packets. So don't feel like you have to, to buy the whole package. Uh, because we saw these strawberry cookies with the, the white chunks in the baggies. In the baggies. Yeah. And um, I shared these with my sister as well. Crazy about them. She's absolutely crazy about them. She loved them, thought they were absolutely delicious. And, and they agreed with us that they taste like strawberry milk. That's what she said, and, and I hadn't even told her that. And she said they taste like a, that strawberry quick is what she said. Uh, Nestle quick, That that's what they tasted yeah. like. I only have two more, three more things. So. He has a lot of lunchtime reviews coming. Uh, this is the old fashioned peanut butter cookies. Mm -hmm. um, Those these, are school cookies. Like these, we remember from the 80s. Yes. Or even the 70s. <laughs> well, late 70s. Late 70s, early 80s, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, somebody said it's a shame that kids today will not experience no. this because they have to unless watch. They, unless they buy them at the store. Unless you buy them at the store. You need to try these out. We reviewed these and we've re reviewed the no-bake peanut butter, which were very, very good for what they were. But these are like the old-fashioned school cookies. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nowadays, where do they have apples? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have cookies. So, one more uh, bakery item. Uh, these are the uh, chocolate peanut butter candy cookies. These are made with uh, Reese's Pieces. Mm -hmm. We found these at Aldi. As a matter of fact, last time we went to Aldi, we actually saw these are the chocolate version. They had the regular version, and I didn't even get them because I thought, well, we knew that these were good. So, the other ones are probably going to be good as well but you could really taste the Reese's Pieces mm -hmm. um, which makes a difference sometimes you can't yeah you could really taste the uh, the, the peanut butter yeah. in them they so, had that very distinct Reese's Pieces flavor right yeah they were very you want to show your barbecue sauce yeah, yeah. Um, this one is the Maurice's original southern gold barbecue sauce and um, this was um, what you write on here Stephen, Angela, Reese, and Brooklyn in South Carolina yeah. that's who I said that it's too small <laughs> uh, this one is one of their sauces that in that area they like the vinegar based sauces and it was just so good it was so different from what we're used to having mm -hmm. we're used to having these really thick sugary um, barbecue sauces which Tammy thinks they're all too sweet um, except those 
peppery ones. I like some spicy. Yeah. In so my body. these were really good, and they did have a spicy one. And of they these were too. perfect. Um, perfect. But the vinegar was really deep. It's just different, you know, and it was really, really good. So this would this would go on pretty much anything. So now we have these Dodds Homestyle pretzels. These um, we had never tried this brand of, of pretzels before, and somebody had asked me. And we've seen them for a long time. Yeah, they sell them at Meyer. I think they sell them at Rural King. Yeah, we just saw them and went, eh, pretzels. You Somebody know. else just let me know that they also sell them at Kroger. I've mm. never looked for them at Kroger. No. Uh, so I'm going to look for them at Kroger because they do have a new Southwest um, seasoned pretzels i want to try those and i have looked at meyer meyer does not have them meyer just has these um so i will be looking on the lookout for the southwest and hopefully our kroger will have them um so ashley adored these let me tell you how she ate them she keeps anytime she goes to chick-fil-a or at McDonald's. So like at McDonald's, she'll bring home the sweet and sour, sweet and sour sauce. sauces. From Chick-fil-A, she'll bring home Chick-fil-A sauce. So in the refrigerator, we have a Rubbermaid container filled with sweet and sour and Chick-fil-A sauce. With these, she would get those Chick-fil-A sauces and out and she would dip those pretzels <laughs> in Chick-fil-A. Yes, and she's told me, she said, you are not allowed to buy these anymore. This is about um, the only chip, Tammy made the comment, this is about the only chip we bought recently where, where everybody was eating out of the same bag. Yes. Yes. Normally we buy a chip and one person, maybe two will He's eat talking out about it. not a chip, a salty snack. A, yeah, any kind yeah. of snack. Yeah. Um, but we, we would actually, all three of us were getting samples out of this for, for, uh, for every days meal. For days and days and yes. Um, and it's a big bag. It lasts a long time. Mm -hmm, it did. Um, I would actually make ham sandwiches and I would eat, um, I could literally put these on the ham sandwich. I didn't, but I could have. But I would take a bite of sandwich and then shove one of these in my mouth and chew it all up at the same time. It was so good. I said, why don't you just put it on the sandwich? And he said, because it, would, be falling it would fall off. <laughs> so they need to figure out a way to flatten these. Make a little to make a, a sandwich, a, a sandwich pretzel. Yeah, that'd be good. I'd eat But that. now, let me say this. They were, they're very good. As much as I like those pretzels, as good as those were, I like these uh just as much um if not more because of the flavors mm -hmm. these are good. the are pretzel the, itself was about the same yes but it's it's the flavor that's why i'm i want to find the southwest so bad in the the dots because I can only imagine it's going to be terrific. So these are the 7-Eleven 7 Select. These were sent to us from Sarah. This is dill pickle. And I have the ranch, buttermilk ranch. What? Oh, I'll, out of the two, they're both five out of five. But, and I would eat either one of them. I would not turn them down. I like the buttermilk ranch. Yeah, I've been best. eating the pickle ones. <laughs> um, they are incredible. They are good. So if you have a 7 Eleven round, you should try them out. They, they did a good. wonderful job with the amount of seasoning mm -hmm. that they used. That is the key with these. It's like they didn't use too little, they didn't use too much. It is enough to where it is a powerful punch and you love it and you want more and more yeah. and more. I eat these um, the same way. Take a bite of sandwich and a bite of chip. And see me, I eat it all at one time. I'm a one time, if I have a plate full of food, I finish one thing before I go on to the next thing. So I- Well then I added a pickle flavor for my ham sandwich. It's, it's right. Good. All right, so I've got the Nix butter pecan ice cream and this is, the whole pint was only 300 calories. So it's a lower calorie. These were all keto friendly too, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, um, Nix is just a really good ice cream. We don't get it around here, unfortunately, just yeah. yet. We've been um, looking. They sent them to us for free, but I would have told you that this one was our favorite regardless because this is like one of the best butter pecans I've ever had in my life. I mean, it was just really, yeah, really he, good. Yeah, you love that butter pecan. Yeah. But all the Nicks were really good. I mean, yeah. most there were a couple that we were like, eh, you know, but but almost all the other ones were, were, were very good. Delicious. Definitely worth trying out. Yeah. So if you get Nicks in your area, you should definitely try them if you have it because it's really, really good ice cream. Uh, these, uh, Kevin and I both like these. These oh, are yeah, the those Harvest, are Stubbs Sweet Heat Barbecue Flavored Cheese Curls. They were delicious. I think we found this bag at Rural King. Mm -hmm. But we saw them a couple other places after that. Yeah, these, uh, it, it's just delicious. And I still want, I said in the video, I want to try their sauce. I still do want to try yeah, the Yeah, I don't the think stubs. they have it right here. I think they sell stubs at Walmart. 
Do they? I think so. I but I've never really looked. looked. Yeah. We haven't had anything in either barbecue sauce recently. Exactly. And there's so many barbecue sauces there out are. now. It's awful. But let me tell you, this sweet heat, it it's was good. delicious. It's it, got that spice that Tammy likes, but also a little sweet smokiness to it too. And if you like cheese curls anyway, you could taste the, the, the could. cheese and the you cheese curl. Cheese. Uh, so those were top notch. Mm, those are very good. Okay, this one is a surprising one. This one is the Butterball, just because it's a snack. Uh, Butterball Premium Snacks. This one is a citrus teriyaki, and they came with little like sesame sticks, and this one came with pineapples. Yeah, pineapple and um, carved turkey breast. What was neat about them is the turkey breast was actually like turkey. I mean, it was good turkey. It wasn't like uh, that cheap, slimy, wet, sliced right. turkey you get. This was like carved up Thanksgiving turkey almost. And of course, sesame sticks you can't beat. But we liked all of these. We did like all those. And I said in the video, Butterball should sell uh, sliced meat. Well, they do sell it, I, and I should have clarified that. I know they sell it in the deli. We could go to the Kroger Deli and I say, we want the Butterball and we want it sliced. But it's more expensive. I'm saying I would like to be able to buy a package of it. A just pre, a pre slice. Yes, that way... You, I, I'm funny about my calories. I know exactly how many slices I can have for this many calories. And that's why I'm, the biggest reason why I don't get from the deli is because you, you really, yeah, you could figure it out, but I you would just, it every time. I would rather have the package, frankly. It's just, I'm lazy. And, um, so I wish they would sell the, the a package of it, and they don't in our area. So yes, you can go to the deli and get it, but those were awesome snacks. Yeah, and I've were. only seen those at Meyer. Yeah, they were excellent. I'm gonna do one more, then we can do those. Okay. Um, these are the Sun Made Bites. These are the banana split bites. And they, they, they look just like that, what you see there. They look like mini bars almost. There were, I think we reviewed like four packages mm -hmm. of these. We had these and s'mores and uh, I think there was a birthday and, but these were by far the best. Yeah. Uh, they had, you could taste all the elements of that banana split. Yeah, they were, it was just really good. And they're yeah, banana, delicious. chocolate, you got all that stuff. And we've only seen those still at Meyer yeah. too. Yeah, I've never seen these either. Yeah, yeah, so because I just, I saw them again at Meyer and it's like, oh yeah, we haven't seen those anywhere else but in here. Yeah, so if you want a little tasty snack here, try these out. So lastly, before Kevin starts his lunchtime review stuff. Um, these were a surprise to us as well. Yes. We didn't think we'd like them as much as we did. Let me tell you. <laughs> um, somebody just recently left a comment that looks like a smaller pizza and it was seven dollars and I said yes and it was worth every penny. oh every bite of it yeah it was just worth gold <laughs> yes they could charge more and people would buy them don't tell them that though uh, this is the DiGiorno specifically the croissant crust mm -hmm. um, and last time we went to Meyer. They were completely sold out yeah, of them. We haven't seen them anywhere else. Kevin either. said you did uh, too good of a job telling people about them. Did we see one out. at Kroger? Um, we saw one. We saw yes. one. There was one box sitting in the front, and that was it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but these, the croissant crust, You, if you've had a DiGiorno pizza, and maybe you love DiGiorno pizzas, or maybe you've had a DiGiorno pizza and you thought, eh, it's okay. Which is me. I've, I've always thought they were We've okay. always thought, eh, they're okay. I, we both felt that way. This is different. This yeah. is a completely new ball game with the croissant crust. I just can't even stress that enough. It is buttery. Once you get it in the oven, you're going to notice a difference because it smells different. It smells... It like pastry. Yes, and it smells so buttery. Mm -hmm. And then to uh, the flavor of these, this is the three meat. Mad pepperoni. And we have not seen the... Um, they're supposed to have a cheese one. We didn't see it at Meyer. Uh, I was going to get it, uh, but like I said, they were sold out of all the croissant crust. Um, but when I see it, we're going to get it for sure. Uh, because these these were phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> so Kevin has another channel. It's called Lunchtime Review, and he reviews. Um, here lately, I've been putting videos up seven days a week. So normally he does it five days a week, but since um, he's had so many different meals to try, which is a blessing. Hey, I'm not complaining about it. Um, 
Uh, he, I've been putting up a meal every single day at lunchtime. Uh, so he does have one thing that he hated. The Presley kids. Um, Presty. Pres, pres, and you said Presley, Presley, and so I said it's not Presley. It's Presley. Hey, that T looks like an L. It's you know. Presley. It's really tall. Um, <laughs> Presley. Presley. Yeah, I want to make sure I get it right because don't buy these. Um, I don't think I like any of these brands really. No. They were all like uh, cheapo canned uh, crap. <laughs> I think I bought those. Um, I, uh, there was a time when when they were limiting only one family member per person could yeah. go shopping. So I bought a bunch of things. Uh, while I was by myself at the store. Yeah, because I probably would have looked at this gun now. He like, would probably would have told me, and no way I'm trying that, because sometimes he does. Yeah. I'm thinking these were around the, like the Chef Boyardee. They are, things, they're, yeah. and they're, but they're shelf stable. They just sit on a shelf and you just heat them up. Yeah. Um, but anyway, don't buy this brand because they're horrible. Now um, the rest of everything else you Everything like. else I really like, and uh, let me, let me kind of, let me organize them. Okay, I'll do these first because I, I have a comment about them, even though I gave them really good reviews. Okay, um, I, I order, also ordered these. I yeah. ordered both of these offline. These are um, shelf stable meals. They're they're by Healthwise. This one is a vegetable stew and beef, and this one's gravy with beef pot roast and vegetables. And I gave this one a five. It was really good, and I gave this one a four and a half. My comment about these is they are really good meals but they're not worth the money that you pay for them. Even though they're really good, um, and I think if you want to spend the money, you should try them. Uh, $6 is way, 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 way too much for what, what you get. Do you get. think, though, that the people that are buying, like, camping meals, are those the people that are buying You could, meals? I mean, definitely, that's that's part of it, yeah. Like a Hormel. Yeah. This is like a Hormel. This is a, a shelf stable, you open it up, you can microwave it, or you can just pour it in a pan and heat it up. Then yeah, so it would be like camping kind of thing. And this is supposed to be a healthier version of those camping type meals. I still think it's awfully expensive. Yeah. Because I could buy an MRE for a whole day for the same price. Right. I mean, you know. And well, the reason I bought them is because for a little while I wasn't seeing a lot of new frozen food come out. And, you know, uh, this is what Kevin does is he reviews stuff like this. So when I found them uh, online, I found them at Walmart online. And um, so I thought, you know, that's something different. That's something we've never seen in the store before. Right. And there are a lot of people who don't feel comfortable going to the store right now. And I thought, is this going to be something that they, that's nice for people to know that you can order it online, but you're not going to see it in the store. Yeah. So if you, that's why if, I got it. So if you do want to order them online, get one of, get those two, because there's been some other ones I didn't like as much. Um, they're not included in my hates because I didn't hate them, but I didn't like them either. Um, I, I just there's some of them I just wouldn't get again. Those two are safe to buy if you want to spend your money. Get those two flavors, but honestly, you could get the Hormel meals and be just as happy right. for the most part. Um, okay, so these are I'm trying to think of which one I want to show. Yeah, um, this one is the uh, Kroger brand pork barbecue rib sandwich, and it's kind of like it kind of reminds you of the McDonald's um, or McRib. McRib. That, that's got that kind of texture and that kind of flavor. I think theirs has a little bit more onion on, but anyway, this was really good. If you see these at Kroger and you like that riblet, like pre processed rib sandwich, uh, they're really, yeah, they're just, it's pork. It's, I've never had them. It's pork crab. shaped into a rib yeah. type shape. It's not, you know, it's not just a piece of pork, um, but it is really good. It has a good, it actually had a good texture to it. Right. Um, or I wouldn't have given it, I don't know what I gave it. There's a reason um, why I, gave I it don't five. have a lunchtime review. Yeah, there's a lot of things you wouldn't even try. But I'd give that a five. Yeah. I'd give that a five. So that says a lot. Um, I think, yeah, that's what I thought. So this one is the Devour Meals. And you know what? I've always been pretty happy with most of the Devour Meals coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one is the um, Angus Beef and Bacon. And the, the meat in this and the cheese and the potatoes were just so good and so perfectly matched. Can I see something real quick? I just want to see who makes it. Devour Foods in Chicago, yeah. Illinois. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if another company made like them. Like Nestle or somebody. Right. Yeah. That's what I was wondering. Um, it says Devour Foods. Th I gave this one a four and a half and it was just, just excellent. Um, the only thing I think I complained about was it needed more bacon. Yeah. It needs a little bit more bacon in there, but, but the flavor is really, really good. How many calories is it though? So... It's already 3.30. Yeah, that's not bad. So, so they, they could put a little bit more bacon in there yeah. and bump it up to 3.50 or something. Yeah. But anyway, 
excellent devourer. Devour meals in general, like I said, are pretty good. So you're pretty safe to buy most of the devour meals, but this one's just on the top. So for my last one is a Hunger Man bowl. It's a double chicken bowl. I actually gave this one a five. And anything that has like macaroni and cheese and chicken, it has to be pretty decent, right? So uh, yeah, if you see these around and you, um, you don't mind getting the calories, this meal is 760 calories for the meal. I think a lot of people complain about the, the sodium in oh, these. Oh, the sodium in these is ridiculous. You getting, and I say that usually on the videos, but then people say, why do you always complain about the sodium? Well, because it's 91% of your daily recommended sodiums in this one meal. Um, 2,000 milligrams. Um, yeah, so sodium's not good in most of these meals, honestly. But, um, you know, if you're going to worry about sodium, don't eat frozen then dinners Then you're not going to buy the part. frozen dinners, um, yeah. You're probably going to be making um, your own fresher foods or leftovers from home. You're not going to be buying frozen dinners. So, uh, but these are really good, and the flavors inside for the macaroni and cheese was really good. The chicken was really good and fresh. The flavors were good. So this one's definitely one um, you should try out. What I ended up doing is I didn't eat all 760. Just to be honest with you, I split it in half. Yeah, and did. Yeah, that's what he. If it's it's a if it's a lunch with a lot of calories like that. He has to split yeah. it in half. If I was to eat this for dinner, I might eat a more of it, but for lunch, I don't want that heavy of a meal. So I probably wouldn't normally eat this right. for lunch, honestly. Uh, this would be more of a dinner thing. And this, I think this channel is, is a cool channel because it's neat to look back through things, uh, meals that have come and gone that you forgot about, um, that they existed. So um, even if, if you're not the biggest frozen food connoisseur, it still is neat to see, you know, what was available and all that. Um, and I tell you what's really popular on that channel are kid cuisine meals. Yeah. Even though they're for kids, it's, um, and I tell you one, I would be curious to know if anybody got this, um, if they still make it, is the fish. The fish, uh, Kid Cuisine Fish Stick Meal because we do not get it here. We got it here way back in probably, I don't know, early 2000 or something, 20 years ago. But we we have not seen the Kid Cuisine Fish Stick Meal in years. I'm wondering if they don't make it anymore. But I've looked for uh, fish stick meals. They're just not popular around no. here. Fish stick meals, be it Banquet or uh, any of those other brands, they just are not popular and I don't know why um, because that is the one that escaped us and it's always bothered me that we didn't get to try the, the Kid Cuisine fish stick I meal. think I'll live. Uh, I think that would have been a good review to do. But these are, uh, this is the end of the June video. The next thing you're going to see up next is Not the, in this video. Not in this video, but in a separate video we are going to give our yearly favorites. So that is going to be another uh, very, very lengthy video, but it'll go through everything um, that we uh, are top from each month. So our top from January or th th through the whole year. Uh, and we, we start in July, July to June. Yeah, so that's why we're, we do ours in the middle of the year instead of at the end of the year like normal people would. Uh, but um, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully you'll be interested enough to watch that one too. So we'll see you uh, in July then for a whole new, a whole new month. year. A whole new year Sorry, is going to start. Year. <laughs> so thanks for watching.